Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship. Stuart, what an incredible evening of snooker. Graham came roaring back at you. Just how relieved were you to hold him off at the end there? Yeah, massive relieved. Um, yeah, he, he, he took the game to me tonight and uh, he, he played some unbelievable snooker. Put me in all sorts of trouble and um, had a little bit of run here and there. Um, and the game just started to change and everything that I was doing was going wrong. Overscrewing, underscrewing, just couldn't, my, my sort of timing was gone. But uh, yes, yeah, how I've cleared up at the end there, I'll never know. Obviously, a battle of two world champions. You're both well used to doing very well at the Crucible, but that was about as much tension as, as we've seen in recent years here. It, it, it does things to this place, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this morning, 8-1, I'm, I'm sort of on cloud nine and um, sort of thinking, oh, obviously going home now, um, thinking we're going to get a nice early drive home. But um, Graham, say, what, what an absolute fighter, what an absolute great player, what a great world champion. He, um, he, yeah, so he took the game to me and luckily for me, I'm, I'm here winning. He did so much to take the game to you, but that forfeited frame when you had the three misses, was that when the, the pressure really, really sank in for you? It started to, yeah, I, I, it was like 9-7. Um, yeah, I started to think this is this is not happening now. Um, so first time ever as a pro, I've, I've lost a frame like that. Um, I've tried to hit the obviously the red half ball to get the white on the top cushion, and unless I put a bit of side on, sort of the table might have rolled off a little bit. But yeah, it, it, like say little things like that, you, everything was starting to go wrong, and yeah, you, you sort of think of the worst. It's obviously been a very very good season for you as wins at the English Open in, in Gibraltar, but was the, did that kind of crack the pressure up even more as he was coming back? You sort of thought you kind of want to cash in on, on this good form and, and not bow out of the, the first round. No, you obviously come in here and you don't want to, you don't want to sort of come away with, with a first round loss, um, especially when you're eight one up or nine four up. Um, but uh, yeah, that was more maybe probably the pressure of losing the first round, being so far ahead. So yeah, obviously you had a good season and you come here with a bit of form. You're just trying to obviously keep it going. It doesn't get any easier. Another world champion in John Higgins next, but I mean that's going to be an occasion to relish once the dust settles from from this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say get home tonight, uh, wake up tomorrow, sort of put some hours in on the practice table, and then start thinking about that match. Yeah, um, playing John, one of the all-time greats at, at, at Sheffield at the Crucibles, definitely looking forward to it. Well, that was an extraordinary match to watch this evening, Stuart. Well done. Cheers. Thanks. Betfred. Proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.